tarde y ahí estaba ya el nombre tuyo y... Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm Hi. And you? Good, I'm doing okay, thank good. you. Good. How was your day? Good, it's good. You had a good day? A little. Okay. Busy? Uh, very busy. Okay. And you? Uh, I was in my house all day. Uh, mostly watching television. There isn't much to do nowadays. Good. Yep. So that that's it. Re relax. Yeah, I guess so. Everything is quiet. So uh but it, it's all right. It's it was good. Yep. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Today is the 30th of June, 2020, and let's begin. Uh, in every class at the beginning, what I usually do is I review the previous class, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. And at the same time, I'm giving uh, a few extra minutes to the ones that will incorporate later. So. Um, who remembers what we did yesterday? Which topics we covered yesterday? What were the Teacher, topics? Yes. I have a question for you. <clears throat> yes. You can talk Spanish a little? Uh, only or not, not only really. English. Only English, but wow. I can incorporate Spanish sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Maybe to explain certain topics, I could make the exception. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. If, if, if I'm saying something that you don't understand or you prefer for me to say it in Spanish, I can say it in Spanish too. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. It's okay. All right. Um, nice. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can change the course. I don't know. Uh, which course would you like to join? Yeah, um, some something uh, part I know understand. Uh, it's kind of very confused. I. No, so I don't know what I do, uh, exercise, I not, comp not understand, but a little, yeah, but uh, other little, no. Okay, uh, did you read um, a WhatsApp message from the administration where they said if you having problems with the platform or anything, you can uh, contact can them? I don't can open today at the platform. Okay. I have time today. Okay, lo que puede hacer es contactar a, lo, a, la, a la persona que escribió anoche al WhatsApp chat, donde dice, miren, si hay alguna pregunta, algún inconveniente, um, escríbanos directamente. Puede contactar a cualquiera de ellos y dígale, mire, yo creo que el intermedio uno está un poco avanzado para mí y quería ver si me pueden bajar a, a pre-intermedio o a básico, donde usted se sienta Uh, mejor. Mm -hmm. Así me eh, siento yo. <risa> yo tuve okay. ese mismo problema ayer. Por ejemplo, yo, yo sí escogí el, el intermedio y a mí me ayer me agregaron al grupo básico. Entonces ayer recibí la clase del básico. No estuve en este grupo. Ok. Exacto. Entonces, hasta ahora, yo igual. hasta ahora que ya me agregaron, hasta ayer en la noche después de, de la clase, como a las 9 y 10, Ajá. me agregaron ya a este grupo. Ok. Este, la, la, pregu la pregunta mía es porque sí, la, una parte la comprendo, pero la, la parte cuando va a explicar un ejercicio o algo que hay que hacer, siempre me quedo. Sí. Y a veces, a veces estaba la, la, la señal y ya no oí la parte que dijo. Entonces ayer me estuvo ayudando Eduardo y aún así creo que me quedé. Ok, don't worry. Con los, 
Don't worry. Uh -huh. el, el mensaje va para, para, no solamente para usted, sino para cualquier persona que sienta que el no, nivel sí, está yo, un poco yo le pregunto. Lo puede, pero puede consultar con ellos porque eh, administrativamente hablando, solo ellos pueden uh, hacer sí. los cambios, de darlos a otro grupo. Ellos, ellos me escribieron ahora y yo les dije que, 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 que se podía hacer porque si, si era necesario que usted hablara solo inglés en el grupo ah. eh, pero ya, ya no tuve respuesta de eso, entonces por eso hoy le pregunto a ustedes Sí, a ver, a ver qué, sí qué la verdad hacer. la verdad es de que por ser intermedio uno eh, lo, eh, es como cuando un niño aprende a hablar español eh, mm. no aprende recibiendo clases sino que oyendo, Escuchando. entonces entonces, por esa razón es de que yo insisto en hablar solo en inglés ya de intermedio uno para arriba ah, sí, eh, yo, yo hay varias cosas que comprendo si uno está hablando pero cuando hay un ejercicio ahí es donde yo me quedo perdido sí. y, pues, yo por eso porque ya tuve la oportunidad de recibir unas clases y va a ser todo básico lo que se ve en la, en la escuela, el instituto, todo lo que se ve sí. aquí, y algunas yeah. academias. Y por eso creí que tal vez la podía hacer aquí en el, en el... Y yo creo que no soy solo yo que estoy así. Sí, no, pues, como no le digo, no, 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 solamente, no solamente es para usted, sino que para cualquier persona que sienta de que el nivel está un poco muy alto, contáctese directamente con la persona que nos escribió ayer y ella le va a decir qué hacer, no hay ningún problema. Pero son ellos los que pueden hacer esos cambios. Yo no, yo no, mi función es solamente impartir la clase, Dar la clase. darles asesoría acerca de la plataforma. Correcto. Ya cambios de grupo, pues ya les toca directamente a ellos. ¿Ya? Sí, porque, bueno, sería, yo, bueno, no había visto una clase de... YouTube, sí, como le digo, de, eh, eh, de, hable, hable, de escríbale cursos, a ella. cursos intermedios. Escríbale a ella y, y ella, ella lo va a poder cambiar, no hay problema. Ajá, o sea, a mí me decía que siempre, bueno, en todas clases de inglés, siempre para explicar, para dejar una tarea, un ejercicio, siempre, siempre había un poco de español, por eso le preguntaba. Sí, sí, no, yo entiendo, yo estar... entiendo. Pero como le voy a repetir, eh, solamente ella Ajá. puede hacer esos cambios. Entonces puede consultar con ella, no hay problema. ¿Ya? Ok, anyway. Sí, sí, ¿Ya? Sí, sí. No, la pregunta sí, sí, era si sí, pues, siempre, siempre iba a estar... I'm sorry. Question, yes. Did you, yes, what's the question? Your, your name is? Francisco. Okay, yeah. Francisco, sí, usted envió los WhatsApp de las imágenes. Yep. Y me perdí también, pero... Okay. O sea, mm -hmm. ayer estuvimos viendo... Más que todo lo que lo, el inicio de la está aquí y no está algo perdidita porque ayer empezamos a ver como el inicio para una conversación cuál es tu nombre what is your name my name is uh, his name his name uh, o sea sí, como le vuelvo a repetir eh, eh, si siente que el nivel es un poco muy alto eh, siéntase en libertad de contactar a la persona que nos escribió ayer y ella lo va a hacer sin, sin, uh, sin ningún problema. ¿Ya? All right. Any other bueno, questions? Pero... Yes. Que yes, siga la clase y que, y que... Yes, que siga la clase y vamos a ir aprendiendo. Sí, claro que sí. Arreglamos claro que sí. eso después. All right, good. Very good. All right. So, other, yesterday... Other question, teacher. Yes. Eh, yes, Juan. Este, respecto a eso, entonces ya no, ya, no, ya no escucharíamos esta clase. No, usted puede quedarse en la clase, no hay problema. O si usted quiere. Porque a mí me parece, inter... me parece Me parece interesante porque. Ok, que entonces quédese. No, no, no hay problema. Escuchándolo. Ya, yeah, no hay problema. Okay. No problem. Ajá, el, el problema es ya. ya con la gramática y todas las, las demás cosas que, que van alrededor de ahí donde yeah. siento yo que me la perdería más. Ok. Yeah. Ah, no, no, su, pregunta, su pregunta me va a costar responderla, pero <laughs> no va a disculpar. No, no problema, no problema. All right, so let's begin. Ok, it's, teacher. It's, it's Thank June, you. Sure, no problem. It's June 30th. 
Yesterday, we were using uh, the simple past tense. Can somebody mention the function of the simple past tense? Uh -huh. What is the function of the simple past tense? It is when we have to to explain some things and that we do in the past. Okay, very we good. We have two, two options. We have the bear to be and we have to the simple past or the other bears. Okay. We have regular bears and irregular bears. <clears throat> good. Good, very good. Yes, like Claudia said, uh, the simple past tense, we use it to speak about finished events, things that are finished. You can use was word for conditions or you can use did for actions. How do you say te tomaste la medicina in English? I see. Te tomaste la medicina en English? How do you say that? How do you say that in English? Te tomaste la medicina. Did you take your medicine? Thank you, Gabriela. Yes. Did you take your medicine? Take you take is an action. The medicine. Uh -huh. Did you take the medicine? Okay. Take is an action. Why don't take your medicine. Uh -huh. Take care. Yes. Why don't why don't drink and take this? No. Why no? Did you take your medicine? Because it's Tú te past tense. La medicina. Uh -huh. yeah. it, it's past tense. Oh, simple en forma past. Pasada. Exactly. Mm -hmm. no sería, en pasado simple. En vez de tomarse, no sería. Bueno, la pregunta es drink. Yeah. Drink or take? Did you no. take? Uh, Drink is the verb. Drink is the verb. Yeah, drink is the verb. Yeah, drink is the verb. Yes, drink. Y take is the tomar, ya sea con la mano y... Okay. Ah, yeah. So, you can say drink or you can say take. The two options are good. But the point is, drink and take are actions. So, to make a question, you need to use auxiliary did. So, did you take your medicine? Yeah. Did you drink your medicine? No. How do you same? say, estuve, la, estuve tarde en el trabajo hoy? How do you say that in English? Lo que importa, lo que importa también, teacher, es, es el sentido de las oraciones. Por ejemplo, si tú dices, eh, tú te, si usamos drink, eh, le estaríamos diciendo a la persona de que si te bebiste es la medicina. Yeah. yeah. Ese sería el sentido. Eh, en cambio, si usamos take, que es de tomar, es de si cogiste la pastilla y te la tomaste. Yeah. 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 So, in that case, si la, drink and take are the two options are good. Eso sería el sentido de la opción. Yeah. Fine. Okay. okay. So, once again, how do you say estuve tarde en el trabajo hoy? Estuve tarde I was, I was late. I was, was late. late in work. No. Yes, mm -hmm. I was late in work today. Yes. So that was a condition for una condición. So you need was and according to the personal pronoun that you use, you can use were. Okay, are there any questions so far about the simple past tense? No questions? Okay. Um, is your life different now than what it was uh, before the COVID emergency? Is your life different? Yes, my life, <laughs> my life changed. Yeah, and, I think, uh-huh. And some ways. <laughs> Right, in many um, ways. In many ways. Um, it's, an, it's a new experience. Um, and we, we don't think that's, that's 
this is possible. And I think everybody have fear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's normal to have fear, you know, when you see the newspaper, when you watch the news and you see that many people are dying every day. Okay, so the reason why I asked you is because now you guys will work together in pairs and you will have to compare how your life was in the past and how your life is right now. In my case, before the emergency, I worked every day. Now I am in my house. That, that's, that's one of the biggest changes that I am experiencing in my life right now. You can say it, uh, in the past, I used to wake up early every day, 5 a.m. Now I wake up at 8 or 9 a.m. So I sleep more. So do you understand the exercise? Yes, totally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I will assign you to work in pairs para que usted compare lo que hacía antes y lo que hace ahora. So here we go. Break rooms. And there. No se quede callado. Speak. Let me have a, uh, so tell me something, Oli. How was your your life in the past? Um, for example, in the past, uh, everybody died. Uh, every everybody uh, don't want to travel. <laughs> yes. Yes. After this, after this, <laughs> so many so. I study too. Actuality. I yeah. I studied from an uh, engineer and it's a uh, difficult definitely definitely uh, need to ride uh, in my car, get some 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 place around and, and... good job. Oh I work it at a Banco de Fomento Agropecuario. Oh. Yes. Only tener una clase en un pizarrón que, que todo se ve mejor y que así, sí, o pero, sea, cuesta más. Sí, pero siento que ahora que que que, como que está metiendo un poquito más de inglés, como que se comprende más, más de español, ¿sí? como uh -huh. que se comprende un poquito más. Or to try to do it in English. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pull your ears. Teacher, are you listen? I'm gonna pull your ears. Voy a las orejas. Ese es el básico porque prácticamente estabas viendo lo de cómo se llama. El verbo to be, por ejemplo, eh, his es cuando presentas cuando presentas a alguien, a, por, por ejemplo, presentas a un hombre, 
o, a, o, a, o por ejemplo, yeah. tenés un amigo, se llama Juan, eh, his name no, is Juan, no. o, tenés una, o tenés una hermana que se llama... I know, it's, it's difficult to be in the, at the university. Yes. But I miss it because I live at in the campus. Uh, I was I was working the, this month um, from from the beginning the quarantine I was working and and now I'm still working um, and this uh, 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 have have been very very difficult difficult. Uh, to me, to my family, to my mom, and uh, my mom take take care of my kids. Um, you do the homework with and, your kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are we are uh, doing uh, homework uh, of the uh, of the school. Um, How is that? <laughs> and, uh, it's difficult. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have some skills, but uh, be teacher is very very <laughs> difficult. Uh, I have you have you have to to put attention to two girls. Yeah, a good engineer. It's a really like the. But in which university did you study? Mm, I really. Want to study in Don Bosco or I mm. want to study okay. in Utla? It's a great university because I will to work in a week and no, I go. on the weekend on mm -hmm. Saturday. Ah, uh -huh, on the weekend. Yes, oh. it's my idea. I don't know what's happening. In I know future, that I know a lot of person that was studying in the Utla. Because uh, because it has more flexible schedule for the in compared with other university. Yes, uh, my engineer told me it's very important go and, and study more. And I'm going to talk to you in English. Yes, I try. I try, but. Sometimes it's difficult to me because I think I have um, poor vocabulary. I need to practice more, maybe. I don't know. Good. Practice makes perfect. That's good. <laughs> Hello, teacher. <laughs> I think that um, we can talk very well, but isn't that I can understand very well, but when I when I talk. I'm nervous. I I don't know how to express yes. myself. But when you practice, it's more. Um, it's, I no sé cómo se dice. Menos difícil. Yes. It's it's less difficult. It's less difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. It's less. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. You guys <laughs> finished talking? Yes. Okay. So we have Ivania, Irania, and Juan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Irania, where do you live, Irania? Metapan. Oh, you work in Holcim too? Uh, sorry? Do you work in Holcim? Do you work in wholesale? No. 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 Okay. Because we have like um, six different people from Metapan in this group. So more I, leads and very good. I said that we have like five or six people in the group, in the class, that are from Metapan. I don't and, understand. Tenemos como a cinco que son de Metapan en el grupo. We have like five people. Um, yeah. 
hay, hay mala señal. A veces se corta. Yeah, yeah. It's normal. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's time to return to the main session. Let's return. Uh, one more minute. Hello, hello. Is it after? No. No. <laughs> before. I'm confused. Yes, before is. Teacher, before and after? After, antes. <laughs> before. before is antes, after is después. After. Yes. All right. Let's return to the main session. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. We have a, a, a little discussions here. Uh, I know her and I see it some. Every time we see her again. Okay. So you know each other in person. Yes. All right, good. All right, very good. You guys were doing a good job. Excellent. So um, anything that you would like to mention about the things you did in the past and that you miss now? Do you miss traffic? Just driving in the car okay all right and any questions or comments about the first activity and Francisco I can hear you okay oh, I'm sorry how come it Okay. I think. Yes, Benjamin. I think that we lost the um, uh, possibility. The possibility to take um, and take out and anywhere and. To go to go to bar to the parties to yeah. the cinema, yeah. Cinema, uh huh. And and we lost to um, ah, no sé cómo se dice, no sé cómo se dice capacidad. Capacity. 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 Okay. Yes. We have we have lost the capacity to to take to to get out with our families, with our kids, uh, and spend some time with the family in 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 some spaces. And okay. This is what it lost. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Everybody misses, you know, like having the freedom to go from one place to another without getting worried. So I agree with you. Okay, anybody else? Any comments or questions? No? Okay, so let's go to the no. next exercise. No. Uh, I think it's right here. Do you see the image on the screen? Do you see the no. knowledge check? No. Not yet? No. No, no yet. Okay. Uh, what about now? Yes, yeah. I see it. Okay. 
So it's a, it's I something it. like a quiz. This is something that you will see in the platform. So um, I need a volunteer to read the first question, please. Somebody, yes, anybody. Can I do it? Yes, please. Uh, the first question, choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? Uh-huh. So what, what is the best answer? One, two, or three? According to what we discussed yesterday and what you guys were practicing today, what is the best the option here? Number two. The second number one. Two. Yeah. The second one. The second one. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. So as you can see, the first part is a negative mm -hmm. statement. So you use auxiliary didn't. And if you can see, the verb stays base form. Now, when the complement in this case is positive, then the form of the verb is in past. Okay, thank you. Another volunteer for number two. When did you graduate from college? What is the best option? Okay. I will show the, to the best response uh, to this question. When did you graduate from college? Uh-huh. What is the best option, you said? Um, so is it graduate? I graduated? graduated from college in 2005. So is the first, second, or third option? Is the second. Yes, the, the second, second one is correct. Very good. Nice one. Another volunteer for number three. I grew up in Houston, Texas. So what is the best question for that answer? Uh, choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. Uh-huh. So is it one, two, or three? Um, Um, three, maybe? No. The first one, the first one. The first one. The first, the yeah, first. the first one. Because here we need to make a question, so you need to use auxiliary did. When, when and remember, you when, oh. when, when okay. you use auxiliary did, the form of the verb stays base form. So number one is the best option. All right, number four, another volunteer. Okay, I am um, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, Chose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. Okay. Okay, I began to study English two years ago. What is the best answer? Uh, best question actually. The answer, okay, uh, let me read. Anybody? Okay, is the, when did you, okay. One, two, or three? Maybe one. One, one. one. yes. First no. one. The when one. did you begin to study English? Yes, number one is the best option because you're making a question, you need auxiliary did, and the mm -hmm. form of the verb stays based form. very good. And I need the last volunteer to read number five. Did you have a pet okay. when you were a child? Just the best response to the question. Did you have a pet when you were a child? Uh-huh. What is the best uh, answer? The third one. Yes, the third okay. one the third is one. correct. Yes. Because, yeah. The question I did. is, yes, we I did, did. is the show risk. Exactly. So did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, I did. So in a real life situation, people usually answer with short uh, options like, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, so that is the best uh, option that we have. So as you can see, all your answers were correct. Okay, any questions about this exercise? No. Your, your participation is no. really good. 
Nice. No. Okay. All right. So let's. Um, okay. Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, ask me. We have we have to complete this um, this knowledge check in the platform. Yes, sir. It is necessary that you complete the knowledge check in the platform. Yes. Okay. After the class. Uh, if you have the time, you can do it uh, today, maybe tomorrow. But make sure that the material that we cover during the week is completed on the weekend, the latest. Okay. So, so you don't accumulate work. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Good. Right. So, let me show you this. Uh, This one here. Okay, now we have an exercise uh, where the original sentences or the questions are in the simple present. Your mission is to transfer that information to the simple past. Look at the first and second example. He goes to bed early. How do you transfer that to another tense? He went to bed early. We don't like onions. How do you transfer that to the simple past? We didn't like onions. So I need a volunteer to do number three. Stuart lives in Vancouver. How will you say that in, in, in the simple past tense? Volunteer? Stuart lived in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Stuart lived in Vancouver. Yes. Stuart okay. was live in Vancouver? Not really. No. Uh, you can say Stuart was living in Vancouver if you're using the past continuous. Then in that case, it's good. But since we're using the simple past tense, you should say live in the past form. So Stuart lived in mm. Vancouver. Okay. Yes. So we have different exercises. I'm going to assign you to work in pairs because you guys need to do the speaking. So, um, let's see this here. Let me. This here. This time. Okay, so I'm sending you this image to the WhatsApp chat. If you want, you can take a screenshot from the from what you have right now in front of you. So um, let me break out rooms. And here we go.
Did. Uh, did she exercise? Yep. Yeah. Um, he knows the answers. And is a regular irregular verse or no? Irregular verse. Yeah, it's a irregular. He okay. knows it, you have to only add ed and you can erase the s. Not really. No, it's irregular. What is yeah, the past tense? Of, what is the past tense of no? New. New, and you have oh. to change. New is the past of the, of the yeah. New. new is the past tense of no. So you, you have to change no's yeah. and put new. So what would be the correct answer in the new past down. tense? Uh, forget is a, is a. So, but what is the answer for number seven? seven? What is the answer for number seven? seven? Uh huh. Seven, and you have to he write. Knows, he knows the, the answer. He knew the answer. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And I, I forgot. forgot his forgot his name. Mm -hmm. To answer this, but hey, teacher, in the no. in the chat, we are going to answer the questions. No, on, okay. only speaking, only speaking. Oh, but okay. if you want to do it in the chat, that's fine too. Oh, okay, okay. It's your decision. I hate cooking. Didn't study history. Didn't. That's correct. Hello, hello. Juan, can you hear me? A little bit. Okay. Who is your partner? ¿Quién es su compañero, Juan? Que está solo ahorita. Ok, lo voy a mover al, al número dos, al, al, al grupo número dos. Uy, tú solamente lo buscas como por in, inglés intermedio. Uh, no, no. Es que uno, en el... no. En el correo que te enviaron, ahí están todos. Está, está la inscribirte y está ingresar a la plataforma. Cuando vos ingresas a la plataforma, si no has ingresado una vez, la contras escribes tu nombre o tu correo, el que diste, uh -huh. y abajo te aparece contraseña, que fue lo que el teacher dijo, una contraseña genérica. Y ahí pones uh -huh. uno, dos, tres, cuatro, dos, cinco. Tres, cuatro, cinco. Y de un solo ingresas y ya tenés tu tenés tu, tu plataforma ahí con tu nombre y ahí está la información que vos necesitas okay 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 entonces uh... yes sir <laughs> hello ladies hello yes, we are talking about you <laughs> you're talking about who yes you're talking about, about you? About me? About you. Really? Yeah. What about me? <laughs> For we are time. saying <laughs> What is it? We are saying that you didn't give us a time, an excellent time for this practice. Oh, did, did you finish the, the, the exercise? Yeah, we did. Yes. Oh, okay. Are there any questions about it? Mm, for me, no, no questions. No? Okay, good. No. So let's return to the main session. Okay. I forgot your name. Ah, pero es, quiero ver. Yeah, I forgot his name. Ajá, ese, ese sería. His ese, name. Ese sería el cambio, correcto. Yeah, I only forgot. the birth. Right. I I forgot his name. Okay. 
For Teacher, example, please uh, finish it. <laughs> you guys finished with the exercise? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, so let's return. Yeah. They didn't study history. Uh, teacher, they ate. Uh -huh. It means I forgot his name. Is right? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. They don't study history. The ten. They do. They draw. Oh, pass. You know what? The bus of pass. Which number are you doing? Oh, we've ended. Which number? A 20. Oh, you finished already? Yes. yes. Okay. Fine. Teacher. Yes. What is the path of have? Have is have. Have. H A D. Okay. Yep. Eso me imagino yo con el básico. Entonces por eso dije yo, no me voy a ir al intermedio. Entonces sí, el yo. intermedio. Pero yo que... siento que ahorita quizás lo que más nos está costando es la gramática. Bueno, en mi caso, porque ya hace tiempo que, que, que salí de estudiar, o sea, mi gramática ya, como que a veces a uno... Yeah, but grammar le... is secondary. Don't worry about grammar. <laughs> yeah, grammar is secondary. Oh. All right, let's return to the main session. All right, welcome back. Uh, I know that some of you uh, finished the exercise and some of you did not finish. Are there any questions about the exercise we were doing? Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so let's, um, hold on, let me do this here. No, I'm okay. sorry, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, can I have a volunteer to do number four? Does she exercise? What is the past tense of that question? Do she exercise? Very good. Number five, I hate cooking. Cooking. Yeah. How do you transfer number five to the simple past tense? Somebody? I, I know. hate it. Good. I hated cooking. I hated cooking. Good. Number six, they play video games. They what played is video games. Okay, they played video games. Very good. Remember that the past tense of play is played. Played. Okay. Um, what about number seven? He knows the answer. Teacher, a question. Yes. Cuando termina en ING, es Es, eh, recuerdo yo, ING es un momento de presente, jugando, sí. playing, sí. Uh, cooking, eh, cocinando, playing. Sí, dando. si estuviese el verbo to be incluido, sí tendría un sentido de algo que está haciendo ahorita. Pero de esta forma donde está, I hate cooking, it's very general. So it's not in this moment, it's very general. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, volunteer for number seven. He knows the answer. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. Very good. Number eight, I forget his name. 
I forgot, I forgot his, his name. name. I forgot his name. Number nine, they don't study history. They didn't study yeah. history. They didn't yes, study. they didn't study history. Do they drive? Did they drive? Did they drive? Jenny works at a hotel. What is the past tense of works? Jenny worked at a hotel. Good. Jenny worked at a hotel. Do you swim? Did you swim? Very good. Did you swim? We don't like the movie. We didn't like the movie. Very good. Where do you live? Where did you live? Where did you live? Remember, if the question is in present, you have to use do. Where but we're practicing live? simple past, so we have to use did. Number 15, they don't drink tea. They didn't drink tea. They didn't drink tea. Very good. They start class at 8 o'clock. What is the past tense of start? Started. 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 Yes, they started class at 8 o'clock. Does he eat breakfast? Does he eat breakfast? Mm, not exactly. Did, um, he eat did he eat breakfast? Very good. Did he eat breakfast? Okay, number 18. I don't run fast. I didn't run fast. I didn't run fast. He has a car. He had a car. He had a car. Very good. And number 20, do you enjoy sports? Did you enjoy sports? Very good. Did you enjoy sports? So once again, this is for everybody. If, um, if like number three, that is a positive sentence. Stuart lives in Vancouver. When the information is positive, the form of the verb is in the simple past form. If it's a question in simple present, you use does. When you want to make questions in the simple past, you have to use did. And number nine is a negative sentence. They don't study history. What is the past tense of don't? Didn't. Didn't. Good. Exactly. All right. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? Questions or comments? Preguntas? Teacher, I want to ask a question for you. Yes, Eduard. I had a problem because I search uh, the verbs and I don't have to pronounce this verb. Okay. And can you help me? Which okay, verb? The, I say the verb in Spanish or yeah. in English? Whatever is best for you. Okay, the verb is golpear. Hit. But I want to say in past. It's the same, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Only that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Good, very Thank good. You. Anybody else has uh, other questions? Comments? No? Okay, so if you don't have questions, uh, we're going to stop right here and I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time, eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Good have night. a good night, everyone. Thank have you. a good night. Sorry. Get some rest. Bye. Right. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. bye.